Hello, good game. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having a magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time. We'll be discussing Arena Weekly Announcements today for November 24th, 2021. We have an update to the Arena Open. We discover what the Wedding Crashers event will look like, and then some housekeeping along the way as well. So, like the video to show your support, and let's get into the weekly updates. All right, so MTG Arena announcements, November 24th, 2021. Downtime to be expected on Wednesday, December 1st. It's really nice of them to give us a heads up on this. And then we uh, we expect it. It's not like, oh, why is Arena down? Well, I've looked at the status page and it says nothing and nobody's able to play. What's happening? And that's actually happened uh, to us last week. And, you know, Friday's deployment issues, LOL. They had to actually revert the changes back and they will try again on November 29th, which is a Monday. So fingers crossed that Monday's smooth and playable for us uh, as a community because it was, uh, it was sad, man. It was a hard Friday. I really wanted to play some Magic and we got shut down for the majority of the day. Anyways, moving on. Enjoy the gathering November 24th to 28th. This is a singleton 60 card event in which you will be able to uh, use any card, right? You don't have to have those cards unlocked. So you can really just build a, a, a meaty mythic deck, right? Include all of the bombs in this deck. Maybe I'll do a, uh, a deck for you guys who don't want to build your own. But this is a great opportunity to build your own decks uh, and experiment with lots of different things, which is super exciting, right? Because you get full access to the arena card collection uh, which is really, really fun. It is a standard deck, um, so not the entire Arena collection, but uh, the majority of cards that we're used to playing with on a day-to-day -day basis on the channel. Anyways, your first one's going to get you the sleeve. The second win is going to get you the uh, partners Helena and Alina Avatar, which is really cool. Very nice card within the set. And you can play as much as you want until the event ends. And then the Wedding Crashers event, November 29th to December 8th will be a, a nice big event and it as well will be a 60 card standard deck um however we get three copies instead of one copy not allowed to use four of which is exciting as well and then whenever you play a card that already has a matching card in play or in the graveyard you'll create two blood tokens so we can potentially build a deck around this that utilizes those blood tokens for uh, further value to play and beat your opponent. And there will be 19 card styles to collect, which is pretty crazy. And then we'll have a full article here as well if you're interested in going through that. Of course, this article as a whole will be listed in the description below as always. The Arena Open, it's our first draft, which is exciting. Um, oh, draft is a little bit more luck-based, not much... Uh, as sealed but uh maybe more so it's well you compete with other people so it's really hard to say uh however it is as a whole in my opinion not a professional limited player but limited is a little bit more uh luck based upon your picks upon your your pool right which cards you actually have access to um however it does provide an environment of originality right it's not going to be the same things all the time right the same three meta decks which is exciting for an individual like me who's maybe a little bit burnt out on the meta so this is a super exciting that it's our first limited uh well no i think we've done a sealed uh but our first draft which is really cool and then they've also upped the prize pool from two thousand dollars uh to twenty five hundred dollars which not going to complain, right? The more money, the better. And, uh, you know, hopefully they continue to increase that prize pool. I'd love to see that. And then we have our, you know, weekly event schedule. Just as a recap, Midweek Magic, the Artisan event is going uh, or taking place right now, the 23rd to 25th. And then the 30th to the 2nd on the edge. We have no idea what this uh, event is. Much like the Wedding Crashers event, we didn't really know what that was until today. So I suspect that this will be revealed to us in next week, uh, next week's update or video. And then the quick draft schedule, we have Zendikar Rising ending um, like 
right away in two days. And then we'll have the Innistrad Crimson Val Quick Draft. And so I really recommend that people are farming their collection through the current Quick Draft. So take advantage of this because it will leave on December 10th. So get as many of those drafts in with Crimson Vow. And if you're lucky, if you're lucky, and even if you like this video, if we can get a bunch of likes, <laughs> shameless, baby, I'll do that limited guide for you guys, right? We'll go through the archetypes and rate them. So you have a, a good idea of what cards you should be looking for within those uh, draft picks as you're, as you're progressing. And what's really nice um, is the assistant right that's going to help you build a deck as well and we can we can talk about that more in another video december 10th through 24th call time which is actually fairly decent as well because there's a lot of good cards in call time right we have uh so many good cards that are even overshadowed by other just godlike cards right like so all run is from call time but there's also other really cool things in call time too like toski something that no one's really talking about right now that's still so cool so call time has a lot of really powerful cards in it and it's uh it's a good draft to do as well i think so then the arena open december 4th day one you can play best of one or traditional which is best of three and then december 5th in which you have to win day one you have to get those seven wins i believe it will be and then you'll gain a token that gives you access to day two and then day two will be only uh, best of three or traditional which is pretty cool and you'll get a new card pool between the two days right a different deck and then our other events, we have the standard metagame challenge, which is, you know, in the future, the gathering, which is taking place right now. We mentioned what that was in the very start of this video. We're getting the sleeve, you're getting the avatar, uh, 60 cards, single pin, all access standard, right? Uh, Crimson Val constructed 26th through 29th. That should be fun. Um, I'm sure we'll have access to packs as a reward. We don't really know yet. And then Wedding Crashers, which we mentioned earlier as well. Uh, which is the the three of a kind blood token when you play a, a copy of something in your field or graveyard, which is cool. And then the season rewards dissipate, fateful absence, and then the new ones, thirst for discovery and Kezig Wolf Rider, which is really cool. So rank up, get those packs as you rank up, and a little bit of extra gold as as well as the cosmetics. So. That is our weekly update for Magic the Gathering Arena. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you're looking forward to within this week. Hopefully it's not Monday's new deployment issues, but uh, cross your fingers, everything will run smooth. And then on Wednesday, December 1st, things will be okay as well. <laughs> and then after that, everything will just be working really well. No more issues in Arena. And somehow... All run got lost in the maintenance. <laughs> Take care, you guys. Have a magical day. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon in the next.